to command and to control. An ever more complex problem in today's modern battlefield warfare. Increased firepower, mobility and dispersion. These three elements present a whole new set of command and control problems for the modern field army commander and staff. The capabilities of these traditional manual procedures cannot cope with the volume and complexity of available information. This and the requirement for faster reaction times dictates the use of entirely new concepts to receive, process, store and display vital tactical information. The Automated Tactical Operations Center, ANMSQ-19, fulfills these multiple needs by accepting and organizing many types of information from widely divergent sources. This makes quantities of information available immediately to the commander and his staff. The form in which these data are presented ensures more effective and rapid staff actions and reactions, command decisions, and implementation. Major equipments of the system include input devices such as Grafton and Tacton, which furnishes information to a computer, the Moby Dick B, the central processor, automatic slide generators to convert computer data to visual material, and display screens which present reference material to the commander and his staff. This is operations, one of the major components of the ANMSQ-19 system. Other major components are shown in this artist's rendering of a typical field deployment of the system. Operation support, screening annex, Moby Dick B computer, mass memory trucks, power trucks, maintenance center, communication service center, and the teletype terminals. This is where teletype messages are received. Messages are also received by telephone, data link, and courier. Perhaps we may best understand the function of the entire system by observing the handling of a typical message as it is received and processed. First, it is delivered to the screening annex where staff officers review it and establish a priority. This message concerns enemy activities requiring immediate action. So copies are sent directly to G2, G3, the chief of fire support, and the screening officer in operations support. The screening officer checks the location and identification of the three divisions mentioned in the message. Using the group projector here in operations support, he uses an overlay in blue to show the friendly position and another in red to show the enemy position. Then he annotates the message for entry into the system. The annotated message is given to a Tacton operator for entry to the computer. The operator selects the proper format for the message by typing in the correct code. The required format then appears on the face of the cathode ray tube. The Tacton keyboard is used for typing out the message and the operator maintains proper location of the information with respect to the format headlines. Tacton converts the letters and numbers language of the message into appropriate digital data acceptable to the computer. When the message is completed, the operator reviews it for accuracy, then depresses a transmit key to send it on its way to the computer. The message's entry into the computer is regulated by a scanner, an automatic switching device connecting all input units to the computer. 
The computer then acknowledges the entry of the information to the Tacton operator. Meanwhile, the screening officer has indicated the new line of contact and enemy boundaries to the Grafton operator for entry into the system. Line drawings such as boundaries, phase lines, and plans of attack are entered by means of a moving stylus, which the operator uses to sketch necessary line information. The Grafton operator may also use an attached typewriter for entering related alphanumeric data, such as unit identifications, annotations, descriptions, or other vital information. This keyboard is also equipped with a number of standard symbols, which may be used as required to cut time in preparing data for computer entry. As with the Tacton information, this data is also entered into the computer via the scanner. The computer combines this new Grafton information with other enemy tactical unit data stored in its memory. When all affected data files have been updated, the computer then converts the information to a form suitable for display purposes and sends it to an automatic slide generator. The slide generator accepts the computer output, converts it to a light image drawn electronically on the face of a high-resolution cathode ray tube. The image is photographed and the film negative processed in less than nine seconds and positive slides are produced for each addressed display unit in less than a second. The slides are mounted on thin metal holders with teeth notched along one edge for identification and for random storage and retrieval in the display units. Mounted and identified, the slides enter pneumatic tubes for distribution to addressed display units. The special attention light indicates that new, urgent enemy information should be viewed immediately by the commander and his staff. General, that enemy action we've been looking for just came in. Next one, the commander elects to review the new material on the group display, so he may compare it with the previous situation still on display at G3's console. Thus, he is able to discuss all elements of the message with G3. G2 calls attention to the enemy order of battle tote on his display. He points out some significant facts and changes in organization and equipment for the newly committed enemy division. The general calls for the chief of the fire support element, situated close by in operations support. Are you looking at the new slide? Yes, sir. Simultaneous remote operation of this pointer by either the commander or the fire support chief conveys precise and accurate information instantly. The fire support chief uses another overlay slide to show that their missiles can reach the enemy buildup and reports this to the commander, who can also call up the same display. Sir, will you get the overlay 50 there? G3 discusses the status of airstrikes using a tote concerning close air support missions. They know that the 3rd Infantry Division is in reserve and ready to move. They call for another tote concerning airlift capability. A great deal of information is instantly available to any of the display units for assistance in decision making. Predicted nuclear fallout areas. Latest weather information. Location and size of various forces and many other types. All kept up to date by use of a computer. Over 40 classes of overlay information and 40 classes of tote material have been provided as a result of a detailed analysis of ANMSQ 19 requirements. If necessary, Users can readily redefine display classes, formats, and contents to suit their own needs in the field. Warfare, with its new and more devastating weapons, new surveillance equipment, new tactics, and highly mobile and dispersed forces, demands modern concepts of command and control.
the means to speedy command decisions, improved staff reaction time, and streamlined control of the modern field army are provided by the Automated Tactical Operations Central, ANMSQ-19.